sitting here waiting for Kelly. We're supposed to do a podcast tonight and I wanted to talk about something that is important and how it relates to relationships and those you love. Um, and that is um, the importance of setting boundaries. Um, you know, even, w even when you're, you know, um, like there's miscommunication within the family or there's, you know, we misunderstand a family member or whatnot. Um, even, and especially when we're in relationship with somebody that we care about and that we, or that we love or both or whatever. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, people go through things in life and, um, you know, they may, you know, miscommunicate something or they may have done something to hurt us. Um, and in order to keep a relationship with them of some kind, we might have to set a boundary with them. You know, there's been times where I had to set boundaries with my family. I've set clear boundaries, you know, during my, raising my children, you know, with, in regard to my family. Um, you know, we stayed away, we stayed away for a long time, you know, when I was raising them because I was setting a boundary that, you know, I didn't want them around certain things or certain people or whatnot. And because of that, I stayed away. That was my boundary. You know, it was pretty hard. And there were times we, we, we did come back to Arizona and it just didn't work out for whatever reason. Um, but I said all that to say, you know, boundaries are important and they, they, they send a message to the person that you love. Um, because of this, we have to do this, or the only way we can get to this next part is we have to do this. This is what has to happen. Um, and let me just kind of backtrack a little bit. You know, if you're in relationship with somebody and I'm going to make my point in just a minute, but if you're in relationship with somebody in whatever relationship you're with, you're in, um, and something happens or you see a pattern of things that are, that are going on with them and you know, it hurts you or affects you somehow. Um, and you don't set a boundary. You just either let them continue doing what they're doing or you completely cut them off. So that right there, you know, could kind of give you an idea of the importance of setting a boundary. You're either going to allow them to continue doing what they're doing or you're going to just completely cut them off, you know, and, and dating and relationships, you know, we often hear this is, you know, a ghosting for whatever reason, maybe something was misunderstood and not communicated properly between two people. Um, or, you know, they just completely cut you off. You know, that's why I stress it's important to have closure in a relationship. You know, you have to, you have to have closure. Um, you know, don't just, you know, stop talking to somebody. That's, it's rude. And it really shows lack of character to me. Um, like if I was talking to somebody and all of a sudden we quit talking and I try to reach out to them and they ignored me, um, that is disrespectful. Like, I, who does that? But it also should show us that this person, you know, they're, they're, they're lacking character. Um, so would you want to be with somebody who, you know, doesn't respond to you? Like, that's something that should be simple, you know. And then if you are in relationship or you have been in relationship with somebody and they, they hurt you in some way, well, you can let them know that they hurt you. That's important. How they hurt you. That's, that, that's important too. Um, if you know, if there's a period of time between you letting them know that they hurt you and that they actually hurt you. Um, and you know, it's important to let them know, you know, how they are to let them know that they hurt you and then set the boundary. Um, and that's just telling them that, Hey, you know, this hurt and, uh, you know, I don't understand, you know, po probably don't understand what happened. I want clarity. Um, and this is, you know, just talking about boundaries and communication. I've had to do this with like my parents before. Like, if you want to talk to me, we need to talk face to face. Um, 
you know, and I've done it in a relationship too. You know, if you want to talk, you know, we have to do it face to face because I just, um, you know, once you reach a certain point in in a relationship, most communication should happen face to face, especially when it's a deep topic subject. Um, you know, we don't want to be misunderstood. Nobody wants to be misunderstood. Nobody wants to feel like they didn't get their point across, or nobody wants to continue to to deal with certain patterns of behavior in somebody. You know, and it's hard sometimes because we get our heart involved in in people and things that we say may may not come across like we want them to or our actions may come across as you know just a personality that was misunderstood i mean and it could be anything that's why you know and some people are okay with texting you know i don't recommend it you know after a certain point or up to a certain point um like i've said in videos before you know to me, texting on the regular is for somebody who's already established in a relationship. I mean, you know, if you can't call somebody and talk to them on the phone, um, at least, you know, and you're in a relationship, that's that could that's a red flag to me. Like, pick up the phone and, and call, you know. And it goes both ways, you know. It really does. Like, um, you know, of course. People want to feel like you're they're important and um, that they matter so you know it, it's important to communicate face to face when you're talking about deep subjects um, but go, getting back to the importance of boundaries we you know oftentimes we um, we want to keep somebody in our life and it's important to get to a place where you break a cycle or you break a pattern that's going on um, and by doing that you set boundaries um, you know and once they've they've fulfilled that boundary or they've come to that boundary and they still you know and they they honored that boundary that's a that's shows me personally that I'm important to that person like my feelings and my you know heart and you know my boundary was important to them you know and it, 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 it I feel like I'm respected and it's it tells me a lot about them you know whoa the, you know they're probably thinking at first like oh my gosh she's just set this boundary what am I gonna do so you know, you have to have faith in somebody that they're going to respect your boundary and that they're going to, you know, come to a place where, you know, they can honor that boundary. And once that happens, it's, it, it really shows me a lot about the person. It, it shows me that they want to be, you know, they honor the boundary. They, they, you know, either they're going to just, say f you and not care and continue to continue with their cycle or their you know whatever they were doing before their patterns or they're going to honor your boundary because they also want to be in your life that's what that shows me and that's what that tells me um and you know it doesn't matter what that looks like i mean if i'm in a relationship with somebody and <clears throat> I set a boundary with them and they honor that boundary it's a good thing it's a it's a good thing it, it shows me it, I have so much respect for somebody who who um, does that and I feel like it's important in any relationship <clears throat> because it boundaries boundaries are love boundaries are important um, and it, you know it, it really and truly you know I just experienced this in the last couple of days somebody honoring my boundary and it really makes me you know care about and love this person more than before you know it's almost like it's, it's a good feeling you know and it hurt that I had to set boundaries because you know you take that risk of losing them they may not care 
you know, just like with anything, with when it comes to relationships, we take risks, and, um, and we just hope that we can come to a place where the boundary was honored and communication is better, um, so, you know, uh, it's important, setting boundaries is important, so don't look at them as a bad thing, Unless, you know, you love them and they tell you never to talk to them again. But at least you have closure in that. It's a lot better than just walking away and not saying anything. You know? Um, it's better than leaving on bad terms or fighting and leaving each other and never talking to each other again. I couldn't do that to somebody. You know, of course, we have to calm down and, and you know, regroup and ground ourselves. But... <clears throat> I couldn't do that to somebody that I care about. To me, if if someone did that did that to me, it would hurt me. And but it would also show me what their character was too. You know, they can't, you know, talk like an adult. And you know, I'm sorry, but yeah, I'm hurt about it. But it tell it just tells me they have growing to do. You know, and that that I'm talking about family in that regard. You know, that's done that to me. Um, after I set boundaries or, you know, be right before I had to set a boundary with them, you know, don't, you know, I want to be honored and respected just like, you know, any other adult should want to be, you know, and, um, anyway, boundaries are love, boundaries are powerful and they're important and, um, honoring and respecting them for somebody that you care about says a lot about your character so good job no <laughs> anyway it's it's important and it's it, it you know from personal experience just today you know i it, it it i felt free i felt relieved i felt happy so anyway Hopefully Kelly will be ready soon. Have a good night.